Welcome back after the summer break for the 2024 Dutch Grand Prix predictions. I'm Sagan and I'm joined in once again by Captain AGX. Hello indeed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's uh, this one of the circuits that belongs to one of the drivers on the grid, and this one, especially for Max, as he's the only driver who won on this circuit. And we come here once again this year for Dutch Grand Prix, the first race after a summer break, and the final final race of the well, uh, the first of the final ten races, should I say? And yeah, we're in for some treat, I I guess. Um, at least I hope so. Um, as I mean, the last few races before the summer break were pretty interesting. Pretty much every single race uh, after, what was it, uh, Miami? When, when Imola was a bit boring, but then it started to get very exciting after that. And uh, we're on a streak of very good races, so hopefully we can continue uh, for this one. Okay, um, what are your thoughts on the, on the, on the circuit specifically? Yeah, yeah, I guess. Uh, I haven't seen any news about the DRS trade being like a DRS zone being lengthened since. Because, yeah, I, 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 I think it was shortened for last year, which kind of made the, the, the overtaking a bit worse. But we didn't see much of it, did we? Because it was rain affected, as you said. And yeah, it looks like it could rain this weekend as well. I haven't checked the weather, but I heard some, well, I, I saw some tweets saying that the weather could be a factor this weekend again, uh, which could be definitely interesting because. Uh, Obviously, last year we had this rain at the start of the race, which brought Perez for uh, to the first place, which obviously didn't last long because it was lapping four seconds slower than his teammate. <laughs> yeah, eventually we ended up with a pretty exciting podium of Max uh, Max uh, Fernando, I think, was second, and Pierre Gasly in third. So uh, was a second of the Alpine podiums that year. So yeah, maybe we could see some surprises this year as well okay uh let's go to the predictions shall we and i don't know who's the first one uh it's your turn okay <laughs> go ahead Okay, uh, <laughs> no issue, but I think you forgot the order we were supposed to go from P5, but <laughs> okay, let's, let's do it. No, it's fine. There's the qualifying uh, from P1 then. And my pole position is it's Max as well. Um, yeah. I, I, thought, I thought we would go different and I would actually go with Max and I would feel more safe, but the way we both went with Max kind of proves our point even more. He, Really, really loves the circuit. It's very strong on it as well. And uh, yeah, this is one of those circuits that I really feel confident in Max. Maybe outperforming the car uh, slightly as well. Okay. B2 of yours. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. Yeah, pretty fair point. I'm also feeling uh, Hamilton could have a good weekend and have 
But I went different. I went with Landowners for P2, um, continuing his very good qualifying form uh, with the uh, not so great um, Spa weekend. But that was, I think, McLaren didn't really have the pace in qualifying at that point. So uh, it's more on that. Still, he still out qualified Piastri, who eventually ended up in P2. So I think it's still so a good shot for qualifying. <laughs> yeah. I now if Max doesn't get pulled, I think we we will not get the feeling of of relief or whatever we had for well, uh, like a few months ago, when Max actually didn't put in a first every single session, we were like quite happy to lose points. But now, actually, you're actually putting your faith in Max putting in a P1 because it's not straightforward. And, and... yeah. Yeah, correct, definitely. Uh, I actually think it's going to be the other way around, kind of, because I think Re the Red Bull is actually, in my opinion, the the most efficient car, and when it comes to straight lane speed, because uh, I I don't feel like I don't feel like McLaren is there. I think their their strength is the high speed corners, especially. Mercedes is kind of all all rounder, not quite epic anywhere. Mm, yeah, perhaps. And uh, Ferrari is probably uh, the strongest in the in these slow speed corners. Well, well, medium to slow speed, I guess. Um, not quite shining on on long straights, and especially after this Grand Prix, there's a lot of tracks with well, uh, two tracks with with pretty uh, pretty long straights. Uh, Baku and Monza, and I think those two circuits could be very strong for Red Bull. Um, okay, that's a bit off topic. <laughs> I should probably continue. Uh, alright, alright. Uh, my D3 is a Mercedes of George Russell. Um, continuing his great qualifying form. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's still like, it's, in my opinion, he's having one of his best seasons for Formula 1, if not the best, considering all the things. He's the better driver at Mercedes this season, and I, I don't think... Okay, it, it, it can prove your point later on. I just uh, wanted, to say this. wanted to get out, out of my mouth, because at a... I mean, the, the head-to-heads are pretty clear, and uh, when you think about it, yeah. The very, very unfortunate disqualification, which means that Lewis has now more wins this season and more podiums. So. I still think George will outperform him in the in the in this Grand Prix specifically. Okay. Okay. It's your second McLaren. Pretty high up. Actually, I wanted to be past you, but I'm gonna I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna go for Charles Leclerc for P4. So uh, four different cars in the top four. Uh, I predict a very close qualifying. Yeah. 
Yeah, unfortunately. Uh, I think both Mercedes were screwed up by the strategy. Yeah, that, were, that was they were on the unfortunate end of of all the chaos that happened at the start of the Grand Prix with the rain. Yeah, um, I think the shear could be very strong for Mercedes. Well, I'm gonna go for the Lewis for P five. Uh, well, I, I think that doesn't feel that good because uh, they, they won the three out of the last four races, but uh, yeah, the, the only car with two drivers in the top five. <laughs> yeah, 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 correct. Science in the top five is apparently a safe option. <laughs> yeah, I think. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 true. Uh, I think your your science picks, like uh, towards the P4, P5 area, always gives you points. So <laughs> I'm quite surprised you didn't go for it this time. Which could be a good thing for me, uh, but I'm not going to go with science. Uh, obviously, I don't quite feel like Ferrari is going to be great this weekend. I think it's going to be close, but not quite close enough. Uh, my P5 would be... I'm going to go with PS3 for P5. <laughs> you not believing Mercedes is actually frightening. <laughs> they actually won three out of the last four races. You keep you kept putting Hamilton for the best driver, and now we're just no. I don't know. Okay, but uh, if it comes through, it gets points. It's uh, it's good for you that way. P4 for me would be Lewis Hamilton. This is also the same as you. Yeah, it's a pretty similar track. In, in, yeah, yeah that, that definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's definitely important to mention. Um, the car is being very strong in Hungary, especially. That's a pretty similar circuit in terms of characteristics, although this one is a bit of more high speed. Of uh, high speed, low straight, uh, slow, sorry, high, high speed, short straights, and a couple of slow corners. So, uh, yeah, we could see some interesting stuff. My P3 would be a, a McLaren as well of Lana Norris. Damn. 
They actually stole it from me. <laughs> my big, my pizza is also Max. Oh my god. <laughs> we're we're both that delusional that we think Max is gonna lose the pole position. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. 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 Definitely. Definitely. I I just don't feel like it's gonna quite be there. It's like I put him in a higher qualifying position. I just yeah. When it comes to his race management, I just not never. I'm. I'm just not confident anymore in, in not Lando uh, managing a good race, especially coming from P3 to win a race uh, ahead of Lewis and Max <laughs> on the front row. That's, I gotta admit, that's quite bold in my opinion, but if it comes true, good for you. <laughs> okay, fair. Um, okay, my Grand Prix win. <laughs> Joke. Sorry. Uh, George Russell. Uh, kind of kind of obvious for, based on my predictions earlier. Um, I think George is going to well uh, come back from his disqualification to win race straight after after that, basically. Um, yeah, he's going to bounce back, in my opinion, with this, with this Grand Prix. And I said he's going to be, in my opinion, a very quick car around this circuit as well. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, uh, I'm gonna go with this one driver who randomly seems to be getting fastest laps. I'm gonna go with Fernando Alonso. <laughs> It's probably very much unlikely compared to your pick, but you never know. <laughs> yep, yep, indeed. Mm. Interesting. Um, interesting. Could that have to be the case? They haven't been the strongest team out there uh, recently. Uh, disastrous one. I mean, Ferrari has has definitely one in a pocket, uh, <laughs> especially around Zandvoort. They seem to be getting uh, giving signs uh, a ten second plus pit stop every single year. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, um, yeah, it could be a pretty good pick, uh, definitely. Mine would be, um, I'm gonna go with something that was remotely similar to Silverstone. I'm gonna go with Haas. I mean, they, they have, they're pretty bad form as well. Uh, Spa was one of their worst weekends as well. Yeah, this could be, this could be the case. <laughs> I mean, Canada 
when was it? A Canadian Grand Prix. Or you got you got two points compared to my zero, so I guess you went To be fair, you guessed Ferrari, right? Just not quite Alonso as I think he had a pretty good race there. So. Didn't he? I, I think he he kept Hamilton behind him for so long and opinion like P6 or P5. Yeah. Alright. Right. My least impressive driver. Hmm. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go, go with a safe one, I guess. Uh, him having a bad weekend is not bold, but after the last weekend, the last two, I mean, finish P7 and P8 in those two races, I think. So, uh, yeah, P. Where was it? P7 in Hungary? Or P8? I think it was P7 and P7 also in, in Belgium, thanks to Russell's disqualification. So, two P7s in a row. Him basically get, uh, having a dis disastrous weekend could give me the point, I guess, if you allow it, obviously. <laughs> yeah. Usually, uh, wait, what was he the eighth quickest before the last two races? Yeah, he basically has to not score points and have a bad weekend. The usual Perez disaster weekend. <laughs> yeah, rain's coming. You definitely cannot count it out. Yeah. 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 Okay. My question is, which driver do you think is will will finish ahead of the two? Yeah. Uh, this this one specifically, because you're picking the most impressive team, and you're. Well, I I actually you haven't picked your most impressive driver yet. That might be one of them. Okay, so then, then the question is on point. But which one is going to be the better one? Okay, okay. I like your thinking. Yeah, could be could be the case. Definitely. Although McLaren getting a one three could be a good shot as well. Okay, my pick for the most impressive team would be Mercedes. Um, I think I'm, like, <laughs> I think this track will suit their car pretty well. I think they're going to be the fastest car in race pace. Uh, maybe not quite quality pace. I don't feel like they're the best qualifying car. I think in the races they're. Come alive a bit more, but still, I, I feel like they're they're 
Well, I, I predicted Russell to win, so I still think uh, Mercedes will do pretty well. Uh, not, not, not quite. Uh, I, uh, maybe a combination of both. Uh, still, like the the weather is still a factor, and a lot of things would happen. I, I think I think Russell will overtake at least one of them on pace. <laughs> Do you actually know my driver? Like most impressive. Okay, Daniel Ricardo. <laughs> yeah, that's why I, why I was asking you because I didn't want to put the same one. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna go with a lot like more options because if I would go all in for Russell and Mercedes and it would not come true, I would pretty much get screwed. <laughs> but you're picking like all the different drivers and teams for uh for these bold uh for well, these other predictions. Yeah. All right, uh, sir, your extra world prediction. I mean, she could think about doing that again, but uh, I, I said it. I mean, you can. You can always get the point. You never know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, car plus the other. <laughs> Sounds so funny. Okay. <laughs> no. Yep. Yeah, I get you. I get you. All right. Um, mine would be something that I already have mentioned. I think uh, you could have remembered it. Um, So, I'm gonna make it smaller, get thick in there. Uh, I think it's gonna be extremely close in qualifying uh, between the top four teams, basically. That's my prediction. Top five. Top five in qualifying. Yeah, the top five under 0 0.2 seconds. Which is, I mean, is it bold enough? Because. Yeah, imagine in the race and Max puts half a second on the on everyone again. Did you mention Norris in Hungary? He was like zero point two seconds ahead of Piastri. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, you're right. And Max was like 0 0.3 seconds away. Obviously, I think he screwed his last run. Um, but still, yeah. <laughs> um, very memorable. Okay, um, we're done for this one, I guess. <laughs> any any last thoughts for, for the Grand Prix? That's <laughs> I think you do. I need to save, so I can't judge you. <laughs> if that comes.
comes true, I'm gonna give you like 10 points straight up. <laughs> it actually happens 10 points. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, okay, I I'll go with an one as well, which we would the same worth, right? Like the extra, extra ball prediction, which we're not gonna like write in there. Uh, that would be Stroll beating Alonso in both qualifying and the race. I mean, how uh, how how often is like how usual is that? Cause... Yeah. Okay. Uh, do, do, do you agree with that? Like. Okay. Okay. okay thank you. Thank you. Because uh, I think mine is actually a little more. Well, but all three qualifying sessions. You mean that? Oh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll go with that because mine. Is... Yeah, I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm extra, extra bull. <laughs> let's go with that. Okay, okay. Uh, let's wrap this up. <laughs> well, would he, would he actually need to like crash in the, in, in like in the outlap for in Q one, like the first outlap? To be fair, yeah. Imagine a lot of crashes in Q1 and gets 20th, Stroll qualifies in like random 13th and <laughs> finishes the race because of, uh, finishes ahead because of that. Yeah, could be, could be definitely interesting. Alright, um, I guess we can wrap this up, finally. Um, well, finally, but, you know, you know what I mean. Okay, <laughs> I really bad at outro, so I'm gonna keep this uh, short. Thanks everyone who's been watching us, and we'll see you next time. See ya! You did it. <laughs>